I don't know if you've noticed, but there's a whole lot of on TV. And there's even more on the internet. And if you are just and tired of all this this is what you ought to know. You have two options. You can stop watching TV, or you can find a way to clean it up. Technology offers you several solutions that can guarantee you a more wholesome media experience, each with its own pros and cons. How the does that work? First, there are machines that use downloadable filters that remove objectionable video and audio from movies. You'll end up with a cleaner, but somewhat shortened movie. The upside is that it can eliminate some or all objectionable material based on the filter you use. It's great because it can remove language, sensuality, and violence. The downside is you need to load a specific filter for each specific movie, and it doesn't work on live TV. Second, there are others that filter profanity based on closed captioning. Instead of playing objectionable audio, it puts up subtitled text with the profanity replaced. It has the advantage of filtering live TV as long as it has closed captioning and doesn't need any program-specific filters. But it only removes offensive language, not any other types of material. For those of you who find profanity adds to your entertainment, where the did my go? You could train a parrot to add sauciness to your daily media. You could invite over a sailor, construction worker, or maybe someone with Tourette's. Or if you're like my neighbor, you could just add your own live soundtrack by at the TV as you go. So now you can add to or take away vulgarity and objectionable material from your media. In the end, the only ones who will be upset about it are the Hollywood insiders asking, What the f happened to my movie? You're safe here. We never say f